How's it going guys? My name is Jerry. I'm with Aesthetic Auto Detailing in West Covina, California. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys how I get work year round with my detailing business. Now Jerry, for people who don't know, how long have you been detailing? Five years now. And you work all year round. Yep. Even during the rainy season. Yes, sir. Did you always have work year round when you first started? No, definitely not. So when I first started, I was getting work through, you know, family and friends. They would post me on Instagram, whatever, uh, word of mouth. And then from there on, their people would give me shout outs. And that's how I just kind of kept on growing. But I'm assuming that after a certain point, it kind of plateaued. Yep. Because I mean, you only have so many friends and family that are willing to support. Yeah. Another detailer will say, now it's time to get the real customers. Yep. And how did you get those real customers? Google. Yeah, I, I used Google. I saw, I actually saw in Hunter's mobile detailing, his YouTube video, I didn't even think about it, but he had mentioned using Google to get like reviews, kind of a create like a Google page. Um, so you could post, you could, you know, mention like the services that you offer, your contact information. And that's what I did. I took the time and I took like a couple hours that night and I created my page. And little by little, I already kind of had like a good amount of clients. So what I did was I just posted on Google, I mean Instagram and I asked them, hey, can you guys leave like a review, this and that. I ended up getting, I think 15 or 20 like that night. And then uh, there are a bunch of clients that still haven't left the review, but right now I have 39 five-star reviews. So that's helped me a lot because there are people that I don't know at all and they call me, you know, they call my phone number and then they just tell me like, oh, hey, I found you on Google, this and that. I saw that you offer this. I want to schedule this. I go work in their car and I ask them, you know, like if they don't mention Google already, I ask them, how'd you find me? There's clients that contact me. They tell me that, you know, I found you on Google and uh, I saw the, the packages that you offer and what helped me make my decision was the five-star reviews that you have. So that really helps out because, you know, these are people that I don't know, but then they see the good reviews and that's how they're, they determine that they want my services. Yeah, some lady called me um, on Tuesday and then, you know, I, I worked on her car yesterday, Wednesday, and um, she got a shampoo. I shampooed her car. I, then I asked her, how'd you find me? She said, Google. So I told her, I asked her like, you know, if I send you a link, would you be able to leave a review? And she said, yeah, of course. So within like 10 minutes, she left me a five-star review. Have you noticed that you have to ask for those reviews or a lot of people do it by themselves? Actually, I don't think anybody's left a review just, just cause. Um, so I usually have to ask for it. What I do notice though is when I'm leaving, I ask, hey, can I send you a, a link? Do you mind sending me, uh, leaving a review? Because in my mind, I feel that since they're kind of already like in that good mood, like, all right, I got my car clean, this and that. If I ask them and I send them the review right then and there, they'll take the time to leave it versus a day after, two days after, you know, like, oh, hey, you know, I forgot to ask, can you leave a review? Some people do, but majority of the time they, they don't. I think that ship is sailed kind of thing. People book on my rep website. So the way I have that set up is you kind of just go on my website click on the package you want, and then it'll take you to like the square, like app appointment, um, or they're, they're able to request like a, a quote through there. What's the second way you have business all year round? So one thing that I noticed is when I first started detailing, the first year or two, I didn't have work from like, I don't know, November, December, all the way up to like January. And I was hurting big time. So I started, you know, doing my research on YouTube, uh, the internet, started thinking like, what can I do to get more clients during this time? And then I started realizing through trial and error as well is offer interior details the day, you know, it's not raining or something simple like a ceramic coating on their, on their windshield. You know, little things like that will help you because if you detail, if you do an interior detail, the day says it's not raining, though their interior is going to be clean and some people, they don't want to get their car washed. So stuff like that kept money coming in. Another way is uh, I offer gift certificates that helped out a lot also, because, you know, 
Thanksgiving, New Year's, Christmas is a big one. You know, people want to get a gift and they can't think of anything. So that helps out. The only thing I don't like about gift certificates is I'll get the money right then and there. But then if I do the job and I'm not getting paid, I already got paid obviously, but it's one of those like, oh yeah, I got paid for this already. So it feels like I'm doing the job for free, but really I'm not. Now, when it comes to offering interiors uh -huh. during the rainy season, are you offering this to your previous clients or are you trying to promote it more on your social media's website and Google? I offer it to everybody. What I will do just to kind of like try to get that money in because you know when it's something like that you'd rather have some money coming in versus not having any work at all if it is gonna rain like two three days later sometimes i'll either say like hey get an interior detail and i'll give you like a free six month you know coating on your windshield and pe people they they take me up on that offer like almost every single time it's like 200 250 dollars Anywhere from like 200 to like 350 each car. You say a coating on your windshield. Uh -huh. What if a customer says, well, what is that gonna do? Why do I need it? Have you ever had a customer ask that before? Oh yeah, yeah, I've had, I feel like they ask because they're not really like well informed on it. Yeah. So I tell them, I'm like, hey, well, you know, if you get a coating on your windshield, let's just say it's raining, you know, really heavy and um, you're driving on the freeway or whatever, my experience you don't have to turn on the windshield wipers and the water just beads right off so once i'd let them know about that they like it the only thing is is the reason why i say six months is because the one that i use it says up to a year but i think with the friction of the windshield wipers it kind of cuts the life a little short but for the most part we get about six months mm. of protection let's say there's a detailer mm -hmm. first year in the game what advice do you have for them what I would say is just keep on going. Don't wait for perfection because nothing's ever going to be perfect. Um, if I would have waited, you know, for me to get everything perfectly aligned before I started my business, I probably wouldn't have started. I, I'm very big on putting in the time. So I say just start and you'll just learn as you go. Hey, we're not giving legal advice, but you weren't even legit when you first started, huh? No, I wasn't. <laughs> You're legit now, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, business license, insured, all that stuff. Yep. All right, guys. So those are my tips on how you can get customers all year long. If you guys have any more tips, drop it all in the comments below so we could all help each other. Once again, my name is Jerry with Aesthetic Auto Detailing in West Covina, California. If you guys need a detail, hit me up on Instagram. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, and stay blessed.